mayor for seven years now, and I can tell you that one of the most challenging aspects of my job is finding the adequate time and resources to meet the changing needs of the city. Local chief executives want to make a difference. Mayors need to create opportunities for the people, but it's difficult to do so because there are many alternatives, different opinions, and arriving at a consensus is not that easy. First three interventions undertaken by ISA with an LGU are visioning, strategy mapping, and the scorecard workshop. These are crucial in the journey towards good governance because the outputs of these activities set the direction by which all subsequent efforts must align. I'm glad that the PGS process is user-friendly after all. I am confident that we can accomplish more with the PGS system firmly in place. The city of San Fernando aims to be Northern Luzon's center for health and wellness. We believe medical tourism can be our economic driver because we have several key advantages. Our strategic location, improved access with the new expressway, a large pool of medical professionals, affordable cost of living, and of course, a healthy and clean environment. The demand for convenient, cost-effective, and conducive centers of medical care will surely increase in the near future. We will be ready to seize this opportunity. Bataan Province is steeped with a proud history of heroes and courage at the last World War. At present, it also earns the distinction of having the most number of industrial zones north of Manila. They locate here because of the ease of doing business and competitive cost. But like most industrial areas, industries are mere places of work for the people and the community. Locators are in their fenced enclaves while the barangays are just like any other. We want to strengthen the linkages between those who have the expertise and resources and the host communities. Sharing technologies, expertise, and resources benefits everyone. Our vision is to be the preferred destination for eco-industrial investments. If you share our paradigm, join us. Our dream is to provide our youth with the best possible education right here in Bataan. Education that will be considered one of the best in the country. We are supporting the goal of the Bataan Peninsula State University to become a center of excellence. And we have master planned the development of our 80 hectare university town. Our next step now is to create jobs and opportunities in the city for our highly qualified graduates. And this will be achieved by preparing Balanga to be the next IT BPO destination by 2020. Our new 100 peso bill features the Mayan volcano. It is truly an icon not just of Albay, but the whole nation. Legazpi City has hosted tourists for decades. Now we are setting our sights on bigger events. We're aiming to be a major player in terms of hosting large conventions. In the next few years, we shall transform Legazpi to be a must-visit city with its wide range of exciting activities and new tourism sites. We will offer the best value for money and a unique cultural experience. By 2020, we will be among the top five convention cities in the country. Masbate has been known for cattle raising for generations. Our ranchers simply sell their cows to traders. Value adding is minimal and our economic development has been very slow. Our vision is to maximize income opportunities for our people. Our aim is to be the number one source of organic beef in the country. Small farmers fattening cows, local entrepreneurs processing beef, and ranch tourism. All of this will redefine the new Masbati city. Telisay was a sugar plantation for generations. 
Today it continues to be such a peaceful and relaxing environment. One can really feel a strong sense of community. We welcome people from all over the world who want to enjoy the fruits of their toil. I believe our city is truly blessed. We are located near a modern airport and share our borders with an exciting metropolis. We have a cool mountain air and we have a breezy seafront. Enjoy the Shenda lifestyle with us and live a new chapter of your life where the people you meet every day are sincerely warm and friendly. Mandawi City developed as an export-oriented city. Our factories produce furniture and housewares that met the standards of the most discriminating customers in U.S., Japan, and Europe. Today, the furniture industry and the export market is not as it was, and we need to reposition ourselves as a city in order to maintain our growth momentum. Our vision is to become the primary source of high-quality Filipino consumer products. In Mandawe, one will have the distinct shopping experience. High quality products straight from the factory. Now that's another reason to visit Cebu. Ipolo is such a beautiful and peaceful city. We are in the northernmost point of the Sambonga region, much closer to Cebu City than we are to Sambonga City. People who visit us are amazed about how peaceful and safe it is. Our city is ideal for those who love the active life. Triathlon events, sports fishing, mountain biking, camping, and trekking are only a few activities young people will surely enjoy. In the next few years, we intend to develop affordable facilities and organize major sporting events. By 2020, we can confidently claim that Tipolo is the center of outdoor sports in the Philippines. President Aquino commended me in his first SONA for apprehending illegal loggers. I strongly believe that these God-given trees are for everyone's benefit and not just for a few. We cannot restore the forest as fast as we should unless we adopt new strategies. We can tree planting projects are fine, but we need to scale up. We want entrepreneurs and investors to plant trees in massive quantities because trees will be the center of their business models. Forest-based tourism, industrial forest plantations, agroforestry projects, and trees for medicinal products are only some of the possibilities. Our new Butuan City economy will revolve around a master-planned forest estate. When everybody's involved, everybody will benefit. The Islands of Good Governance is an exciting journey. It makes cities competitive and ready for the future. We need to focus to attain our vision. We need to align our resources to these opportunities. The Philippines will transform one city at a time. No matter how long it takes, 